It's me, your least favorite YouTuber, Austin the Cat. Welcome to Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone for Game Boy Advance. Um, now, I really have no idea what to say or do for, like, the beginning of this video. But, I mean, you just got a really cool intro that my buddy Andy made. So, I guess, I mean, what else do you need? Let's just get right into this game. Ah, yes, a lovely sky. Moon. There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. <laughs> Hagrid! Oh, that's a nice image right there. Like, I don't know what the look on his face exactly says. Like, what kind of expression is that? Someone tell me, please. Is he scared? Is he hungry? Maybe a little thirsty? He's got little baby Harry right there in his massive arms. As unsuspecting muggles slept, a huge motorbike with a giant astride it tumbled down from the darkness. Uh, excuse me, Dumbledore. Hagrid is only half giant. I thank you very much. The giant named Hagrid left a blanket wrapped bundle on the doorstep of number four Pivot. Pivot, <laughs> pivot Drive. I can't fing read, I'm old. Nestled in the bundle was a baby. Harry Potter, the boy who lived. Oh boy, oh! Ooh, Uncle Vernon, he's looking a little trumpy there. <laughs> and oh, look at Dudley! Look at this smug son of a bitch! What's he so happy about? Did he just punch Harry in the face before taking this picture? What the fuck is up with Aunt Petunia? She looks like she's dead inside! <laughs> For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful step-parents, the Dursleys, until <laughs> he got a letter, and I, oh, this image is perfect. I just love the expression on his face. Like, he looks like he doesn't even know what a letter is. I mean, what the f*** is this shit? I've never seen one of these damn things in my life. That fateful day when he received the letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Oh boy, look at the train! Okay, maybe don't look at the train anymore. Hagrid took Harry to Diagon Alley to purchase a most unusual list of school supplies. Soon after, Harry caught the Hogwarts Express from Platform 9 and 3 quarters. You know, I want to take a moment to question that whole Platform 9 and 3 quarters thing. Now, why in the hell is it called nine and three quarters? Why not nine and a half? That seems like that would make more sense. Unless, um, we're wrong, and maybe the entrance to uh, the Hogwarts train, is, it, maybe it's just a little bit to the left or right, and that's why it's three quarters, but we'll never fucking know. Thanks a lot, J.K. Rowling, for not explaining your <laughs> Oh my god, look at the poor little bastard. He's terrified! Oh, please, Professor, don't put the talking hat on my head. It's scaring me! <laughs> Professor McGonagall just doesn't give a single sh**. Harry sat beneath the sorting hat, hoping that he would not be chosen for Slytherin House over Gryffindor. Not Slytherin, eh? said the hat in his ear. You could be great! It's all here in your head, and Slytherin will help you on your way to greatness! No? Well, if you're sure, better be Gryffindor! Oh boy, you were starting the game. Oh my god, Ron, what have they done to you? Hello! You must be Harry Potter! I'm Ron Weasley! I'm glad we're both in Gryffindor. Looks like we'll be joined by that know-it-all Hermione, too. And anyway, we need to go to defense against the Dark Arts on the third floor. I'll see you there. Oh, and watch out for Peeves the Poltergeist. I heard he's causing trouble again. Okay, so immediately just what the f*** is going on. Why did they make it so we don't meet Ron until we're actually at the school? Also, we just got to the school. They're already trying to shove us into class. What the hell? It's the first day. No orientation? What about the big the f first year banquet thing? We just had the sorting and we're done? We didn't even get to eat. When are they going to feed us at this place? Right, I guess I'll head up to class. Oh, boy. 
Well, if it isn't the famous Harry Potter! Like, yes, I'm the boy who lived, and I see, you are the boy with no face. We should get a picture together, the paper would love that. You want to watch the company you keep? Gryffindors for mudbloods and riffraff. I'll certainly be more careful about the friends I keep than your friends seem to be. Okay, Harry, I honestly have no idea what the f*** you're trying to say there. Okay, I just want to point out something really bullshit about this already. Okay, so, in the opening scene, it keeps the thing of Harry being like, Oh, not Slytherin, not Slytherin, I don't want to be with those bastards. But here, we're meeting Malfoy for the first time. It was meeting Malfoy and his stupid friends that made Harry not want to be in Slytherin. So this is a pretty big continuity error right here. And I will not stand for this! I am so pissed off! Just wait till I learn some spells, you little And I'll teach you something! Yeah! That'll learn him. Ron, you've gone on ahead without me. I I'm new to the school. I don't know my way around. But also, you're new to the school. How the f*** do you know your way around, Ron? Ooh, I'm getting thirsty! Ooh, at fun! Oh, Jesus. That is the worst profile pic I have seen ever. Don't trust any man with this profile pic. He is clearly a predator. Okay, I don't see what the point in that was. He just said one line and then fucked right off. I think it's on this floor, right? Defense against the dark arts? I mean, it'd be great if they had some f signs or a map or something, but no, they just, they drop you off at the school like, all right, you little bastards, you're on your own, figure, figure it out for yourself. Defense against the dark arts classes this way, Harry. Well, it would have been more useful if you actually fucking wait up for me, Ron. I'll make my way to class while I'll kick some math and then I'll smoke some grass. I mean, oh no, don't do drugs, kids. That's bad. Oh boy. Oh, everyone's favorite professor, Professor Quirrell. Good day, class, and welcome to Defense Against the Dark Arts. I'm P Professor Quirrell, and t today we are going to learn the Flipendo Knockback Jinx. This is particularly useful when c cornered by n gnomes or when getting past puffer pods. To learn the spell, repeat my wand movement. Oh boy, I came here for to actually fucking learn something, and here I get a mini game. Alright, so I, I learned your fucking spell. So, is this how the school works? You just learn a little spell and then they throw you into a dungeon? Well, I guess it's still less brutal than most schools these days. So I guess I can't really complain. I mean, honestly, I'd rather they have me thrown into a dungeon than give me more fucking geometry. Alright. Well, this shouldn't be too hard. I mean, top-down perspective dungeon crawling. I've played The Legend of Zelda. I know how to do this shit. There's no problem, just go around and collect the f***ing stars with me, it's not rocket science, it's magic. Well, if I can defeat Voldemort as a goddamn baby, I think I can get through your shitey little dungeon. Oh boy. I am a force to be reckoned with, clearly. I mean, magic is not something to be f***ed around with. I have the ability to push big blocks of stone with a simple wave of a stick. I am a force to be reckoned with. A birdie ball of every flavor bean. Ugh, tastes like lotion. Why do you know what lotion tastes like, Harry? I'm I'm actually feeling a bit concerned. I'm <laughs> Harry, that's not what lotion is for. You use it for jerking it. You know, I think I'm going to enjoy my time at the school. Do a little dungeon crawling, eat some beans off the floor. What could go wrong? I mean, consider uh, well, I guess well, I guess uh, one of the things that could go wrong is I could fall into these giant gaping holes in the floor. I I feel like the school should really work on repairing those. I mean, that's just a hazard. I can search bookcases, apparently. Oh. <laughs> that did not look like searching. That looks like f***ing dancing. Uh, gnomes! Oh, gnome! Get it? You're a gnome! This is a bucket. Kill it. Ah, yes. Destruction of school property. To get a single bean. It was worth it. Oh, f run away. He's a bitey little bastard, isn't he? Ah, there we go. We knocked the fucker out. Now the door is open, and they died. They disappeared into nothingness. We got a gold star for our efforts. 
You see, at a regular school, you get gold stars for just doing your fucking homework. You really gotta earn your gold stars here. I love it. Tough education, but I'm a tough kid. I defeated the Dark Lord of the Baby. Just uh, gonna take a moment to revel in my victory. Ah, yes. Sparkles. Harry Potter is pleased. You see, now that I've learned Flipendo, I'm ready to f you right up. I felt more threatened by card tricks than by your spells, Potter. Jesus. This is the greatest wizard of all time. He deflected my magic with his words. What sorcery is this? I'm gonna f you up this cuz. Hey, I just ate! What? A child's soul? You're Harry Potter. I know all about you. You're in my modern magical history book. I've learned all my books by heart, of course. I'm Hermione Granger, by the way. Am I really in that book of yours? Goodness, didn't you know? Anyway, we'd better get to potions class in the dungeons. I hear Professor Snape's very strict. Alright, guess we're heading to the dungeons. Our great is this f***er again. BOO! Ah, uh, hello, peeves. You didn't jump, thirsty! I'm getting used to you. How the f*** can you be used to this guy? You, you haven't even spent a day here. You just got here, you're already used to the f***er. Better get scarier then, hadn't I? Don't let me catch you walking the halls late at night, or I'll call the prefects on you! Well, considering what else this predator could do to me, I guess that's not so bad. Jesus, this school is massive! My god damn. This place is huge, you know? Maybe I should get a place like this one day, with all the sweet ad revenue I'm making off YouTube. You see, it's funny because I'm poor and I don't actually make any money from anything I do. I'm guessing this is a dungeons. Probably. I mean, it's got a heart on it. Because dungeons are filled with love. No, wait, they're filled with death. I don't know where the hell the dungeons are. I'm lost. Like, I'm honestly lost. I have zero goddamn idea of where to go. It'd be great if they gave me a map or something. Although, one thing I'm glad is that the staircases don't move. I mean, honestly, I've always found that very impractical and dangerous. Potions is this way, Harry. Hurry up! Oh, okay. That's what I'm trying to do, but I'm fucking lost. So, I just always found it, like, weird and impractical about the staircases. Like, y you would get late so many times. Like, you'd show up, like, ha halfway into class, professor would be all pissed at you. Like, why the f*** were you late? Like, bitch! The staircases keep f***ing moving on me. I don't know what you want me to do. I'm walking up them, like, oh boy, I'm almost there. And it f***ing does a 180 on me and sets me right back to the beginning. Not to mention the hazard that would be. Like, imagine you're about to take a step. And then it just starts moving. You end up f***ing falling off and dying. This place is dangerous. Harry, Harry, potions classes this way. They say Professor Snape is very strict. Yeah, you've already told me how strict this f***er is. You've told me how strict he is already. You don't need to keep on repeating it. I'm very well aware now. Come on, where, where is it? Is it over here? Dear God. Like, a map? Something? Maybe like a little yellow path that the students could follow to their next class? Ah, yes. Harry Potter. Our new celebrity. Since she's the last one in class, Mr. Potter. Go fetch our six class files from the basement. Hurry up now. Don't keep the class waiting. Well... Here we go into a dungeon. Huh. Uh, I'm not sure I'm ready to face this. You see, it's funny because you have no face. I'll just be on my way now. Oh boy. Oh, I have to collect six vials. Ah, uh, yes. Destruction of school property. Why was that in there? Okay, I guess uh, I was supposed to destroy school property. I mean, I was just doing that for fun. But hey, if I can get something out of it, I mean, I'm all for it. You gotta admit, this would be a really dangerous place to go to, wouldn't it? I mean, I don't trust it. I would not, like, it seems all fun and magical and stuff, but realistically, would you really want to go- Oh, Jesus! Be gone! Be gone, thoughts! Screw you! Be gone, you bitey little bastards! Oh. Oh, that scared me, because there was like three of them, they are gonna gang up on me. I'm not sure how I made it, but I guess I am the boy who lived, and look at that, I've lived again. Let me do my little cupboard dance. If I was running this school, I would make damn well sure that we have good insurance. Because there's gotta be a lot of student fatalities and injuries. But then again, it also, they have wizard magic. Yes, wizard magic. The good kind of magic. 
Not that fake-ass kind. You know, they have stuff that can regrow bones, so I guess insurance really isn't even a big deal here in the wizarding world. You fall down the fucking grand staircase, well, just regrow them bones. You'll be fine. It tastes like <laughs> but you'll be fine. Man, I'm just finding these vials. Woo! Now on to the next one, and then the next one, and then the next one. Cause that's how this game goes. Huh. So I didn't have to kill anything, or move anything, solve any kind of puzzle for that. It's just kind of right there, and uh... I mean, it's a nice change of pace. Can you please just give me the last two? I would greatly appreciate that. Just hand them over. Man, I'd better hurry up and find those last two vials, or Professor No-Face will get mad at me. And I don't want to upset him. I don't want to see the angry look on his face. So what do you think happened to Professor Snape in this game that caused him to become faceless? I mean, was it a magical accident, or was he just trying out some muggle items and something went wrong? Maybe he just got a little too close to the belt sander. Oh, what's this? I better investigate. Jesus f***ing Christ! Flippendo! Kind of fun to say, you know? Flippendo! Flippendo Nintendo! Oh, great! I'm glad the camera panned over, so I was warned of the gnomes. Oh, I'll just run him over with a barrel, the poor little bastard. Harry Potter and the Wrath of the Barrels. I leave many corpses in my wake, but it is all worth it to achieve my goal. Professor No-Face, I killed a lot of innocent creatures. Are you proud? I mean, I think that's a look of pride on his face. I can't really tell, but I'm just gonna assume. That's enough now, Mr. Potter. Return to class immediately for your next assignment. Hold on, let me do my cabinet dance before I go. Ah, yes. A cabinet dance. A dance that will live on forever. It's a classic, like the waltz. Or the... Gangnam style dance. Or the... I don't know many dances. <laughs> ah, yes! The triumphant pose and the sparkling wand means success! Welcome back, Potter. Now, what would I get if I added powdered wiggin tree bark to an infusion of molly and dittany, and then stirred in one pint of flabberworm mucus? Uh, a really bad smoothie. I don't know, sir. Tut tut. Fame clearly isn't everything. The answer, of course, is the wiggin willow potion, a powerful antidote, which is precisely what we are going to be learning. For our next lesson, I want you all to collect the following four ingredients. Dittany, Molly, Flabberworm Mucus, and Wigan Tree Bark. Failure will be severely punished. The groundskeeper, Hagrid, may be able to help you with the first ingredient. Class dismissed. I'd even- I just- I just fired a spell, I didn't mean to. Premature ejaculation joke. Well, I guess that's all I'm gonna do for today. I mean, I went through two whole classes and, uh... Yeah, I think that's a good place to call- I think that's a good place to- Good. That's a good place to good. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Quick shout out to Mermaid Legs Music, for making the intro. Check out his channel in the description. And another quick shout out to Caitlin Drew, for drawing the thumbnail. Check out her Facebook page, and YouTube channel down below. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a nice day. Also please consider supporting my Patreon lol bye.